cancer. And uh, so you know also that probably Beijing is building their third airport. Yeah, and it's probably at the south and it's probably going to be the biggest uh, airport. Uh, so what do you see this airport as, uh, as an economic factor to this whole region? Um, you know, the Beijing traffic, air traffic um, has grown so fast and is still growing. Uh, there's so many flights in and out of Beijing. Uh, even as you know, when you fly in or when you fly out, there's always delay because you don't get you know enough space or enough lots to actually land on. So, um, you know, a new airport is, I think, needy. So, um, I believe that you know, with this uh, new airport that's coming up, um, it would at least divert a lot of traffic away from the existing airport. Uh, which has become so congested that it, it, it sort of uh, disrupt people's travel plan. Uh, so I believe that you know with the new airport there will be a lot more uh, traffic attracted there and I think uh, people are you know the world over right now is looking at China as one of the most important market in the world uh, and is still experiencing 8-9% growth which is probably the only place in the world that's experiencing this kind of growth so um, and I, I believe more and more people are coming into China and Beijing being the capital will certainly be the first stop for people to look at so I think it is important and it will definitely have its role in the contribution to you know to the growth of Beijing. Mm, sure. And uh, one last question. So what is the future of uh, Smart Garden, you know, or the, the company that you are you know, yes. five years now? Mm. Well, uh, to grow in China, I think you need to uh, do very good brand positioning. Um, although it is a very competitive market, but because of the sheer size of uh, you know, the market, and there are a lot of cities that are not developed yet. So you have to know where you're going to position your products and then you know, grow in that uh, direction. Uh, I think gone are the days when you look at manufacturing as one of the areas to grow. I think right now you look at marketing, you look at you know, how to position your brand, and you look at really how to um, expand your market rather than how to do your manufacturing. So we used to do a lot of uh, what we call um, export on uh, our manufacturing facilities. But right now, uh, we have actually scaled that, scaled that down. Uh, we are, are still producing for you know a lot of international brands like Burberry, uh, DKNY, uh, but we are really looking at a strategy. So uh, with a lot of this technical knowledge that we've gained in terms of uh, you know the approach in uh, drafting, in terms of designing, uh, we are looking at how to you know then bring in all this knowledge and then do our own branding in a stronger uh, sense and then you know market it to the domestic market. Uh, we at the moment have about 100 over outlets in China um, and I think uh, there's still a lot of room to grow uh, given um, you know, the, the experience that we've had I'm sure uh, we will be able to find our own niche. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank you.